What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. But before we jump into this, if you guys would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. Come rock with me on the channel if you like basketball performance reviews. Definitely hit that like button and absolutely go hit that subscribe button. So you see what we have in front of us today. We got the Nike Sabrina one, the Nike Jaw one, and the Nike Book one. I will let you guys know what one I prefer at the end, but first let's hop into a weight. Um, I'm going to say the Sabrina is probably the lightest. I forgot what the weights are on all these guys. Sabrina's 12.4. The jaw, I don't know, the jaw might be the lightest. 11.9 on the jaw, and the book might be the heaviest. Nope, 12.2. So it comes in the jaw, the Sabrina, and then the book, but they're all fairly light. Like, you don't really notice them on foot at all. But working our way from the top down to the bottom, the Sabrina 1 padding feels great on foot. It's more like a foam than it is like a, like a more fluffier foam, like you'll feel on a lot of sneakers. It's almost like a memory foam and it definitely feels good on foot. Lockdown was great, no issues with lockdown. Padding on the Jaw 1 is ridiculous. Um, not that memory foam type padding, or padding, just kind of like that, like polyester type padding. Um, it, it feels great on foot, but I'm gonna have to go with the Sabrina 1. I like the Sabrina 1 a little bit better than the Jaw padding on there. And the Book 1 is gonna take the cake. Uh, it feels great on foot, Has a, it almost is like in between these two. It has the memory foam padding, but it has a lot of it. So when you lace these up and you tie them down, they feel great. Lockdown on all three of these are fire. I have no issues with heel slippage or anything like that on these. Heel comfort feels great on all of them, but I will go with the book one and the Sabrina and then the jaw. The jaw, one thing I didn't like about the jaw was how fat it looks on your foot. Like you guys can notice the difference. Look at the freaking like width of this compared to this. This is more narrow. This is like really wide. So I, I didn't really care for that when I'm looking down when I had them laced up. But anyways, it did not affect performance whatsoever. Now on the laces, laces is gonna run through it quick, doesn't affect performance, you can always swap out laces. Cheapest laces, probably gonna be the Sabrina ones, and they're a Nike by you, or Nike ID. So I'm not sure why they didn't kind of upgrade the laces for us or let us choose like different style laces. And the flat laces for the jaws, very nice. And the best ones are gonna go to the Booker. Um, these are almost like a soft like cloth, but it's definitely gonna last a long time. There is a little bit of frame, but it's how soft it is, they'll definitely last. Even outdoors are last, but when I play in this outdoors, we'll get into that later on. Now, moving into the tongue. The tongue on the Sabrina is the same material back here, but it's very, very minimal. Um, see the kind of netting material? It is breathable. Not my favorite tongue in the world, but it's like not the worst. It gets the job done, feels great on foot, conforms to foot. Um, didn't Wasn't a big fan of the Morant tongue. It feels like it would be very bulky. It's not, and it's not breathable at all. You guys can kind of see this like cloth material right through here. So it's definitely not breathable. Uh, conformed to foot well. Didn't really have no issues besides breathability when it came to the tongue on this. And the best feeling one is gonna be the book. Um, the tongue's very plush. And here's almost like the same material that you see out here. It's almost like a sweatshirt material, it feels like. But there's no breathability. I think every single shoe should have Maybe not like the Jordan 38, because the Jordan 38's got all them cutout triangles, but you gotta have some kind of cutouts, and it makes for a lighter sneaker. It takes some of the weight off them. So I don't know why that's not like a staple, but moving forward with basketball performance sneakers, I would like to see that in every single one. Now, down onto materials. Materials of the Sabrina one, I loved. I loved how lightweight they were and, and like rough and rugged at the same time. You can see this mesh right up here, it, it embroidery all over it, conforms to foot, feels great on foot, and then they have this mesh back here. Definitely a breathable sneaker. I had no issues with heat when it came to the Sabrina. One thing that I disliked about the Sabrina, well not disliked, I gotta find gripes in these. These are some of my favorite shoes, but like it just needed a break in time. It probably needed like, I don't know, hour or so just running and break in time. You could kind of hear it like pop a little bit and stuff like that. But after it broke in, conformed to foot great, felt great on foot. And the, when you slip it in, it definitely feels good as well. Slipping comfort, like overall, not just heel comfort, feels great on foot. Now onto the jaw. The jaw materials, you guys can see it. It's like thick jersey netting material, but there's padding under it and there's another layer of cloth under it. So it does feel good on foot. It was very, very stiff for multiple days. Um, this. This is basically a dead stock pair that I have. I bought a few pairs of the jaw and this thing's still stiff as a board. So you definitely gotta break the jaws in. So it wasn't my favorite material. You guys can see the support right here. They called this a strap on Nike.com. I think they took that off, but yeah, it's it, it definitely gives you a nice lockdown. So I do like that they added those in. But onto the book, 
The book materials were great. Probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on. Like when you see the outside of this and it just looks comfortable, like that's what it feels like when it's on foot. Like it feels like these materials are on the inside. Like it's so comfortable. This new buck, well, suede's new buck, whatever you want to call this, onto this material right here, this knitting. I have some suede up here around the collar, a little bit darker, and it actually feels a little bit better. This feels different from this. It feels a little bit more plush, but other than that, I do love the materials on the book one. My only thing with the book one is how long will the materials last? I haven't got to beat the shit out of these yet because I know these two will last, but I haven't got to beat the hell out of the bookers yet. So I'm not sure how good this new buck holds up once it starts getting like all like like bending and crunching and all that stuff we will see in the future but as for now best feeling on foot I, I i like the book one i just didn't like the book one wasn't breathable it's kind of a hot box i know it's got this right here but it's not breathable the best breathable one out of these i'm gonna say is going to be the sabrina's the jaws and then the books so if you're looking for breathability um sabrina's probably gonna be the way to go if you're looking for like plush materials on foot it's probably gonna be the book one now down onto one of my favorite categories is going to be cushion this has Nike React, which is one of my favorite foams, and it's not as plush as the PG6. Feels great on foot, but it is not as plush as a PG6. And then it has a zoom pod up here. Um, it took a while for me to feel that. It's like wafer thin. It doesn't really do much, but you can feel it once you break this sneaker in. So um, I enjoyed the cushion on the Sabrina 1 onto the jaw. The jaw had the Phylon carrier. This around here is Phylon, but it's softer than a lot of the other Phylon. So you do get a little bit of uh, impact protection back here. And it has a nice zoom unit in the forefoot right here, it, which it does feel good on foot. And it does take a little time to break in, but once you do break it in, you can kind of get a little bounce off that forefoot on the jaw once. On to the Booker. Uh, this all around here is, is really kind of like an Air Force One, Nike Blazer type plastic rubber all the way around here. And then on this side right here, you get the Cushlon, which feels great on foot. Impact protection on the Bookers felt great. Um, it's more responsive up front, and then you got the zoom unit in the back. Heel impact protection on the Booker is best. So if you're looking for the best heel impact protection on them, you're probably going to go with the Bookers. If you're looking for the best response out of all these, you probably want to go with like the Sabrina ones. Um, the jaw has a four foot zoom unit. These are probably gonna be second if you're looking for court feel. Court feel is gonna be these two and then the jaw, but they all get the job done and they all worked fine. You just don't get as much court feel with the jaw one. And I think the phylon might have something to do with that or maybe it's the four foot zoom unit. On to my next favorite category. Well, that's probably my favorite category. It's probably everybody's favorite category is going to be traction. Traction on the Sabrina ones, you guys can kind of see that. Kind of has that swirly pattern all the way around it. Definitely does a good job does pick up dust so you do need to wipe it's it's not top tier but it definitely gets the job done same thing gonna go kind of with the herringbone type pattern with the jaw morants uh traction was good on the jaws maybe a tad bit better than the sabrina's you did have to wipe on the jaws as well and the one that's going to take the w is going to be the book ones i did not get to play with these in a like a really dusty gym so if you're playing in a super dusty gym i did not get to try the books in a dusty gym these two i did they performed fine this i didn't i played with this on a mild dusty setting and it was great i had no issues barely had to wipe has a great squeak not like squeak matters but we all us hoopers we all love having a good squeak so i did not think i would say this because first off aesthetically i think the book is horrendous i know everybody loves it but when, I mean, like if this was just a casual shoe, which I know it's made to be both, so don't kill me in the comments. I know that was what he had in mind. Everybody flamed this when it came out. Um, and I was one of them. I still don't care for the aesthetics. But if we are talking performance, I'm going to take the book one. Uh, it, it just does everything really good. The Sabrina one is going to take a close, very, very close second. If I want to play faster... I'm gonna play with the Sabrina ones. It's a very fast playing shoe, definitely a guard shoe. I love the Sabrina ones. And then third is going to be the Jaws, which isn't a bad thing. It's getting third place, but like it's it's just not exactly what I want to play. And if like if I got all three of these in my bag, these two are gonna get used the most, and then the Jaw will come along with it. But as far as my favorite sneaker up here, aesthetic wise, it's going to be the Sabrina one. I love the Sabrina one and then probably the jaw and then the book. But I do think Nike did a great job on all these signature models. I need you guys to let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer? Which one are you playing with right now? Which one you keeping in your bag, taking out of your bag? What is your guys' top three? 
put them in order for me and let me know how you guys feel but as always i appreciate y'all rocking with me and we'll catch you on the next episode of sold out peace